Well, welcome to the GoPro guide of Trail 7 here at Harcourt, Gart Gart. Unlike with the other GoPro guides I've done, these trails are often a bit more cross country, if not enduro. So for the most part, you'll find that it's loose on hard pack with the usual rubble and then rock slabs and rock gardens. And because it's such a challenging loop, and not many people ride it, you find that it holds up probably one of the best in the park aside from Trail 9 and Trail 8. The Trail 8's insane, who does that? Now when someone talks to you about Trail 7, they'll often ask you about the really nasty climb. And it's one of the defining features about Gart Gart. Because I will warn you that the climb has hairpins and it is steep. As we go down the A line, so a bit of a whoop, rock bomb, the other line's fairly smooth. So if you don't like rock drops, it's okay. There's a B line on the right. So we come down and then hook in and let's go. So it's fairly well rock armored. So trying to find the best line can be a bit tricky. Whether or not you find grip in rock or in dirt. Plus the turns are fairly narrow. And then you get to these absolute pinches. Luckily again there's some rock armory. So in the dry at the moment, this is giving me the best traction. As we continue on up, heart rates in the red. We're still gonna keep going. Now for the most part, that's the worst bit. But don't drop your guard, because coming up, we've just got a few hoop, choice little rocks. Nothing difficult, but again, if you're not expecting them, they will catch you out. Now the hardest climbs are met with the best views. Like, look at that. That is positively splendid. And here's some tricky rock pops to get up. So we'll just go up this part. As you go further left, it is easy to get up the rock face. Chicken line to the right, but we're gonna go up the big boy line. So we come down here. Oh. Fastest line is probably the left in going off that rock drop, but I've never really taken that. Yeah, a bit of a rock garden, a bit chundery, but this is pretty much your first major descent of seven. So we've got a nice prolonged run filled with these beautiful berms. Nice cut-ins, similar to six, and they hold up as well as six. Oh, love it. Nice small berms. Super flowy. Gotta love them. A few people skimmed off the top there. Whoops. Nice bowl of the cashew there, go over this rock. Another rock. Oh yeah. You always get a nice bit of satisfaction. Ah, uh, chicken run that. Whatever it be. what happened with my front tire there. That was fun. On your right, you've got track 11, Milka. But then we're gonna go up and over here. This is a bit of a free ride zone, actually. It's quite interesting, some of the line progression, but we'll come down this one because we can't hit doubles. Oop. Make sure to not bottom out your pedals. 
up and over the rock. Oh, big clap. Now you've got to turn off onto track 10. Probably one of the purest XC trails here at Harcourt. So if you love a good bit of XC, check out Trail 10. Along here, there are some precarious lines and some odd features. Such as that rock drop there. And they've opened out this line, but you used to have to go over those rocks on the right. You start the journey up. And then some more odd lines. Ooh. As I dive down the left line, which might actually be one of the more tricky lines, but there's that rock line on the right that I'll have to suffer, suss out with Jackie. Get the rock chunder. Another beautiful set of berms. Now you can dart onto six right there and take the easy way home. But the descent on seven is killer, along with this climb that I didn't change down for. As we come up and over these rocks, and I'm way in too deep. I'm not composed enough to take this on, but You'll sort of snake up here, come along there, watch out for the rocks. Oh. Now we're a bit further along on seven, just on this major rock slab part. As we start to approach, probably the more difficult part, and hence why I say that if you're not comfortable with rocks, go with the Track 6 detour. All right. Now there's a climbing line to the right, that was a bit more of a sudden incline, but we we'll come down this. Ah. Hoo -ha. Get back onto this rock face here. Oh, bit of a log down. Yeah, there's a right line here that I'm going to take. Slightly easier than that left line. That left line is a lot more chundery and feeds you into some, into some dangerous corners. But then this one's a bit more rock armoured and packed in, which is nice. So again, if you want a more challenging route, probably go left. But I'm going to ride to see another day for the moment. But then here is the end of track seven. Gart Gart. We'll continue on to a Track 7 tour in just a moment. Keep riding and stay awesome.